Hello, my name is Ryan Sloan, and I'm here today to talk about new versions of Pro Tools that were just announced for 2022. I've got all the key details here to help make it as easy to understand as possible. So let's get started. All right. Yes. There is some potential bad news, but I think overall it's mostly good news for Pro Tools users. First of all, all the new products I'm going to mention today are subscription only. Boo! <laughs> new perpetual licenses will still be available in the dealer channel until they sell out. So if you aren't into the whole subscription thing, you do still have time to snag a license that you own that's not tied to a subscription, but they will officially be going away. Uh, speaking of people with perpetual licenses, if you own one now, you'll be able to continue to purchase annual renewals to keep it current, and they're even bringing back upgrades or what they call reinstatements on a more permanent basis, which is really great news. This means they aren't going to be forgetting about their existing user base, who in many cases have been loyal for decades in some cases. Now, let's talk about the new products. The first new product is called Pro Tools Artist. This is the new entry-level version of Pro Tools, but it's actually quite capable. Uh, best of all, it's only $99 per year, so it's actually priced very reasonably. There are some limitations to it, but I think a large amount of existing Pro Tools users and new users would find that Pro Tools Artist is perfect for them. Here are the key things to know about Pro Tools Artist. You get 32 total audio tracks. That means a combination of 32 mono and or stereo tracks. So if you had 32 stereo tracks, you technically have 64 channels of audio. If we're talking about a purely technical standpoint. And generally, you have a mixture of both types of tracks in your sessions. For instance, uh, typically your vocals are going to be mono tracks, but your keyboard tracks and maybe even your guitar tracks might potentially be stereo channels. So all things to think about. Beyond audio tracks, you also get 32 auxiliary tracks or AUX tracks as they're known. These types of tracks are for submixing or combining other tracks and applying effects. Next, you get 32 instrument tracks and 64 MIDI tracks. These are used for virtual instruments. And as far as simultaneous audio inputs, and this is an important one, you get 16. This is the most limiting factor of Pro Tools artist, but especially if you're working by yourself or even recording a band, it's completely still realistic to make 16 audio tracks work. Uh, an audio track, again, would be a vocal or maybe an acoustic or electric guitar or acoustic drums. So 16 of those at one time. Pro Tools Artist also comes with over 100 plugins. So you have everything you need right in the box to get started using the industry standard audio recording program, all once again for only $99 per year. I think this is really big news and I'm really excited to see this. Uh, Avid is finally doing something great with the pricing structure for their users. And I think this is going to get them tons of Pro Tools subscribers. Next, we have Pro Tools Studio. It's similar to the current non-Pro Tools Ultimate version. It's a terrible way to say it, but we'll say Pro Tools Medium or Pro Tools Vanilla, as people will call it. Uh, in fact, it stays at the same subscription price, but gains some much requested uh, features. Before we talk about the new features, let's talk about the pricing. It will be $299 per year on the subscription path, just as regular Pro Tools has been for the last five, six, or seven years. It'll be $99 a year for the educational subscriptions and $199 for those that own a perpetual license that keep it current every year. 
Uh, if you do have a lapsed perpetual license, you can also do an upgrade to get it current for just $349. So let's unpack that for a second. Let's say you have a Pro Tools 10 license right now that you've had forever and you haven't upgraded. You can now get up to Pro Tools 2022 and get on Pro Tools Studio for $349. So that's a sweet, sweet deal. Okay, now let's talk about the features of Pro Tools Studio. First, and this is a big one, it has full surround support now with the ability to expand to Dolby Atmos. This version will be for native-based DAWs, but it will work with Avid Carbon if you own that with their hybrid engine. Let's talk about what Pro Tools Studio gives you over Pro Tools Artist. Simply put, it gives you more. Uh, you can have 512 audio tracks and 128 AUGS tracks and you can have 512 instrument tracks and 1,024 MIDI tracks. It also bumps up the amount of simultaneous inputs from 32, which is what the old standard version of Pro Tools had, to 64 channels. That is a pretty big bump. And as I mentioned, it includes surround support, and I didn't mention this yet, but it also includes the Avid Complete plugin bundle built in. These are huge updates. And if you were already paying for a Pro Tools subscription, you just got a lot more functionality for the same price. So that is also a win in my opinion. Uh, any professional studio out there not using Avid DSP hardware can actually use this version without any issues in their studio. So in, in some cases, you'll be saving money if you don't need Pro Tools Ultimate any longer. And that does take us to the last new version of Pro Tools. Uh, it's called Pro Tools Flex. And this will be the highest end version of Pro Tools on the market. It, it does include Pro Tools Ultimate. So that is still the same, but it includes uh, a bundle with other content and it's really geared towards professional developers. It's for DSP-based systems as well. So in order to get the extra content outside of Pro Tools Ultimate, you do need to be on a subscription plan. So perpetual license users or owners won't get access to that content. I don't think most people are going to mind that. Uh, perpetual license owners can keep Pro Tools Ultimate current for just $399 per year. And you can do an upgrade, which thank goodness they brought that back from a previous version for only $749, which is actually down from $1,000. So you actually are saving money here. Uh, in this version, for all intents and purposes, you actually have unlimited everything. It's not technically unlimited, but with 2,048 audio tracks and 1,024 auxiliary tracks and 256 native inputs and outputs, I mean, it might as well be. There are only a handful of customers in the world pushing the boundaries to that particular level. All right. Let's summarize everything really quick, lightning round. There's a new compelling version of Pro Tools called Pro Tools Artist. This is going to let most people jump into Pro Tools at an amazing price of $99 per year. It features 32 audio tracks, 32 aux tracks, 32 instrument and 64 MIDI tracks, as well as 16 simultaneous inputs and outputs. Next, we have the new Pro Tools Studio. It lets you have 512 audio tracks and 128 aux tracks and 64 inputs and outputs at the same time. It comes with the Avid Complete plugin bundle as well, and it's $299 a year. Existing Pro Tools perpetual license holders can upgrade to this from their previous version for just $349. And Pro Tools Flex 
is a new tier of Pro Tools that includes Pro Tools Ultimate software and really great bundled content for subscription holders. If you're a current Pro Tools Ultimate Perpetual license holder, holy crap, that's a lot to say, you can upgrade an old license for $749. And one other big piece of the puzzle is that Avid will stop selling perpetual licenses going forward and will move strictly to subscriptions. But current perpetual license holders are not in the dark. You can continue to upgrade and purchase support plans to keep your software current at the lower rates that you've been able to. Uh, one thing I didn't mention previously in the video is that uh, there's also a new installation and activation and registration process. This has always been a source of confusion for Avid Pro Tools users, as I have a video with tens of thousands of views that goes over the process step by step. This new 2022 version of Pro Tools should have a much more streamlined install process. And I'll be doing a new video to cover that particular setup process soon. All in all, these are mostly positive moves for Avid. What do you think of it all? Uh, write your thoughts in the comments below, and you can find links to these new SKUs down in the notes as well. Um, there are still some perpetual licenses if you do want to jump over to that tier at dealers as well. So if you do want a perpetual license, I'll put links to those in the notes below. My name is Ryan Sloan for The Gear Cage, and we'll see you again soon.